In this video, I've gathered a few notable Nexus mods. Generally, animations and some weapon mods take the spotlight, but I've also compiled outfits and replacer mods. I hope it proves helpful for you. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. First, let me introduce a few animation mods. There are quite a few noteworthy animation mods this time, so let me share a couple. Firstly, the combat knife animations. It features a unique reverse grip stance for attacking with the knife, distinct from the conventional slashing motions. It's quite impressive, supporting all animations from basic idle, movement, and attack animations to blocking and grenade throwing. However, it's limited to the first-person perspective. Using this mod in the first person provides a dynamic combat experience, but there are a few drawbacks. When transitioning to third person, there's an abrupt character walk, and during a power attack resulting in an enemy kill, there is a camera freeze issue. The creator is likely addressing these bugs, and once these issues are resolved, it could become a must-have mod for your gameplay. Next up is the Gauss Rifle animations. This mod provides new first-person animations for the Gauss Rifle. The animations for drawing, reloading, firing, and grenade throwing are significantly improved compared to vanilla. Particularly, the sound of detaching and attaching the magazine during the process of drawing or reloading the gun adds an immersive touch, making it quite an appealing mod. If you've been looking to enhance the animations for your Gauss Rifle, this mod is worth checking out. Next, we have Onimaru 9's third-person animations, sneak idols, and shooting sneak animations. This mod enhances the third-person rifle sneak animations, suitable for both male and female characters. It features a perfectly executed crouch shooting stance, providing a realistic and stable posture. Bethesda tends to stick to their distinct hunched sneak posture, always aiming with a bent back. However, Using these animations, you can implement a more rifle-friendly shooting stance during sneak, adopting an actual crouch shooting posture. Next up is another Deliverer reanimation. As the title suggests, it enhances the first-person animations for the Deliverer pistol, as shown in the video. When drawing the gun, it starts with pulling back the receiver and then releasing it. The pistol is generally held with both hands, but when sprinting, it is held with one hand raised. The overall improvements cover basic shooting, reloading, grenade throwing, making it a fantastic pistol comparable to the latest tactical handguns. However, in the creator's video, there was a motion of changing the magazine multiple times, which I couldn't get to work. Nevertheless, I recommend checking the creator's video for that specific detail. Next up is the Crawl Sneak Animation mod. This mod changes the character's sneak animation to a four-legged crawling motion. It's still a work in progress, but the motion itself is quite good. However, with the crawling motion, especially on sloped terrain, there might be some issues where the character's upper body slightly floats or gets buried in the ground. This phenomenon is also present in Skyrim and seems to stem from the collision detection of the upper body not being recognized by objects. Nevertheless, the animation itself is considered to be well executed. If you're looking for this type of sneak animation, feel free to give it a try. This time, I'd like to introduce some noteworthy weapon mods. First up is the Police Riot Shotgun Another Another Millennia. This mod adds a new type of shotgun to the game. The shotgun is semi-automatic, allowing for the use of various types of ammunition. Moreover, it becomes available on the level list after reaching level 10, and there's a special version that can be found at the police station in Quincy. The animations and overall firing sounds are excellent, and it's worth noting that there's even a bullet-counted reload patch available as of now, so keep that in mind when using it. Next up is the Wasteland Chain Gun, a Raider minigun. This minigun is commonly wielded by raiders or mutant bosses starting from level 10. When drawing the weapon, you'll hear a distinctive engine sound, and when firing the minigun, it starts slowly, but gradually increases in firing speed. The bullets are discharged with a rugged feel, fitting well into the unique world of Fallout 4 while maintaining a distinctive and charismatic personality. As a lore-friendly and unique minigun, it's definitely worth checking out. Next up is the Minigun of Modern Warfare mod. This mod adds a new minigun to the Commonwealth based on the miniguns from the Call of Duty games. 
One of its significant advantages is not only its impressive appearance, but also the wide range of customization options it offers. This minigun is one of the few that provides a shield, with options ranging from heavy shields to light shields. It comes with a drum magazine and offers various customization options such as laser points, colors, and muzzles, each of which significantly alters the appearance of the minigun. If you're a fan of heavy weapons, be sure to give this mod a try. In this segment, I'd like to introduce you to some outfits. First up is the Torque Armor. It's an outfit that allows you to mix various armors with a base of leggings and a t-shirt. This outfit supports a wide range of colors and styles, providing a strong military vibe while accentuating the body's contours. A fantastic outfit choice, in my opinion. Next up is Game Over CBBE. It resembles Overwatch's D.Va in a casual outfit. Although it's a t-shirt, it gives off a bikini-like vibe, and the shiny effect on the outfit is quite impressive. Moreover, it comes with a headset that supports various colors, creating a matching set with the t-shirt. If you like the outfit in the video, give it a try. Next is the Modern Warfare Eye, German smock uniform. Although my character is female, which may seem a bit unnatural, please consider that aspect when watching. This outfit is exceptionally stylish, especially with the anti-tank grenade attached to the ankle and the striking backpack and gas mask on the back. It supports several color options, and if worn by a male character, it can recreate an impressive military look. In this segment, I'll briefly introduce you to a few replacer mods. Firstly, we have the DP T-51 Renewal, a replacer for the T-51 Power Armor. It upgrades the textures to high-quality ones, featuring a khaki-colored torso and distinct textures on the other parts, giving a metallic feel. It provides texture options for 1K, 2K, and 4K. Next up is the Bag of Cement Retexture Mode, offering yellow and gray texture options. Lastly, there are Vehicle Retextures. It enhances the original vehicle textures while better expressing a rusted feel. If it piques your interest, give it a try. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the latest and greatest Fallout 4 mods. If you found something intriguing or have a favorite, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the best mods coming your way. Until next time, wander the Commonwealth with style and firepower. See you in the wasteland.